Good morning, oil traders. It is News Day, Wednesday, September 20th, and it is 9.01 a.m. here on the East Coast. Uh, we're just shy of 30 minutes away from markets open, and we're seeing a lot of volatility. Um, as you guys know, we got API news after the close yesterday at 4.30, and uh, API says that we're going to get a build, but it's not as big a build in uh, crude inventories as EIA projections which of course are going to come out today at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. So will it be bullish? Will it be bearish? Um, for the time being, markets think it's bullish. Um, we jumped up from about 50 even up to about um, 50, 30, 40, something like that, um, pretty much right away after the news came out. And we've tried to go as high, making a top at 50, 55. Um, as you can see right now, we're kind of heaving to and fro um, about 10 cents either direction um, but uh, we are not making a, an attempt back at that top at least not yet um, my gut is we're gonna open uh, here in the US uh, and Canada at probably somewhere around 50 even again um, what we were at before the API news came out um, EIA confirms denies um, or contradicts, I should say, um, API news all the time. So we could reverse course, we could spike, who knows? I certainly don't. Um, my targets basically remain unchanged from what they were yesterday. Um, if we drop, then I'm looking at 49.20 to start exiting shorts, about 49 or lower to start entering long positions. If we keep going up, then I'm looking at at least 50.80 before I start adding to my short positions. Um, where we are right now is pretty much where I have a current short position. So I need a good gap between where I currently am in short before I start adding another one. That's kind of my approach, philosophy, strategy, whatever you want to call it. Um, if we are close enough to either of my targets above or below um, prior to news coming out, EIA news at 1030, then I may execute those orders. Um, but uh, for the time being, it doesn't look like we're going to get there. Maybe the 5080 mark, I don't know. But uh, we shall see. I'll be monitoring at uh, before 1030, of course. What do you guys think? Hit me up down below on the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, charts, performance, etc. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys after news and towards end of trading at 4 p.m. Eastern here on the East Coast. Until then, good luck. Cheers.